last 20 years of consulting various companies all over the globe, I think I've learned a few tricks of how companies must approach digital. This is a bird's eye view of how digital needs to be approached. So the first principle is, digital is about taking a compass in your hand, you start walking in the right direction. A lot of times companies go wrong because they try to create a blueprint of what needs to be done and then what happens is that something changes and they have to rework on the blueprint. The way to work digital is take a compass in your hand and start walking in the right direction. The other principle is that every single thing in digital is something that you learn from your mistakes. So you have to fire bullets, calibrate them, when they hit the target, then you throw the cannonball. So let me give you an example. I've had companies who've come to me and said, you know, this year we want to shift all our budget to digital. That's not a way to approach digital. You have to fail and you have to give permission to your team members and all the people who work on the project to fail. Because from the failure, you'll, miss, you'll learn how the bullets are hitting uh, the target and then you actually throw the cannonball. The other thing is, a lot of companies that I work with, they are in this constant endeavor to update the website because they're not happy with the website. Today, almost 70 to 80% of the users don't even visit websites. So you have to be where your users are. They're on YouTube, they're on Instagram. So the way I look at it is, people should work on their digital presence, web presence rather than a website. I think website is passe. 20 years ago, a website was critical. Today, there are so many platforms that do the job that a website can do and better. One of the key principles, if you want to succeed in the digital age, is this concept of digital fitness. The very fact is you're doing this course is a step in the right direction. Understanding different components, different platforms of digital and increasing the fitness of your digital team members is very critical to success. Because even the agency or the consulting company you work with, unless until your team understands digital, they will not be able to take full advantage of the capabilities. Because at the end of the day, you know, the job of a consultant or digital company is to be like a Sherpa. The Sherpa can guide you, but he can't carry you up the mountain. You have to summit the mountain. And for that, your digital fitness is very, very critical and important. The way I look at it, digital is today a catalyst or multiplier across every single facet of an enterprise. It helps you in customer acquisition, it helps you in brand building, it helps you understand customer trends, and it helps you in educating your team members, it allows you to cross-sell and upsell to existing customers that you have. So the way to approach digital is see how digital can be a multiplier across every single facet of your organization. The more and more uh, touch points you have of digital, of improving what you do, the bigger multiplier you'll get. And all these dots will connect and create a multiplier for your business. And that's the way to approach digital. The other thing what I feel a lot of companies make mistakes is they focus on something like a digital goal. So the goal is that you want to get a billion YouTube views or you want so many fans. But that's not the way to approach digital. What happens is that if you get a billion views and there is a board meeting and the stakeholders ask, okay, you got a billion views, so what? Because it was not linked to a business outcome that you desire, what will happen is you will not have an answer for that so what question. So have a business goal. Business goal can be that I want to leverage digital to increase my existing customers' revenues by 30%. At the end of the year, when you achieve that 30% growth from existing customers, then what will happen is nobody in the boardroom is going to ask you that so what question. So I think it's very, very critical that you and your partners have business goals that can be delivered through digital rather than have digital goals because digital goals don't get you anywhere. Now, other part of the whole strategy is having this abundance mindset that we've spoken about. What happens is that digital is about collaborations. Collaborations today are a competitive advantage. Even the toughest competitors in the market can actually collaborate and benefit each other because digital is not about scarcity. So when you take something from a competitor, you can give something back to him. And both of you can take that one and one and make it 11. So the abundance mindset in your team is very, very critical because the abundance mindset will get them to work together as a team also help them uh, leverage all the competition that is there in the world to collaborate at times to give a competitive advantage. In fact, we as agencies uh, have worked with Google and Facebook and there is a term that was coined which is called frenemy where partly the person is a friend and partly the person is an enemy. A frenemy can actually collaborate with you 
and both of you can benefit in the process. It's not black and white, it's gray. Digital is not a sprint. It is a 10 year, 15 year journey. You start today, take the first step. Take a compass in the right direction and then start your process. The more and more steps you take in the right direction. So what will happen is, it's almost like walking in a fog or a mist. So what happens is that you can only see 100 meters when the fog is dense. But what happens is that when you move forward, you'll be able to see 100 meters more. Then you come across an incline, you reserve energy. You come across pebbles, be careful. You come across a chasm, build a bridge. So the more you walk forward, the more and more digital will work for you. But it's very important to start walking because if you just keep on planning, then you'll not get visibility of what needs to be done. I think the biggest learning that I've got is that when you start off, you have to be like a self-guided missile. You have a target, which is a business outcome. Your missile has to keep on changing. It's a heat-seeking missile. So you have to be agile. You have to keep on changing, keep on pivoting till the time you receive the outcome you desire from digital. The last thing I would like to say is that the train example that I gave, digital is the journey where you're sitting on a train. The train may slow down, stop at an unscheduled stop, but you don't get out of the train. In the next three years, five years, 10 years, all these exponential technologies will come together and disrupt a lot of industries. If you strive on that digital journey and sit on the train, you will reach your destination and achieve the business outcomes you desire for your company. Mm -hmm.